Hey everybody, Susie Q here. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I got some chores to do in the pond. The ice melted just enough. I'm going to swap out that filter, the BioRing filter that's in the bottom of the pond, and put a fresh one in there because I know it stopped working a while ago. And I'm going to replace an air stone with a huge sponge filter. So let's go take a look. not quite ready to open the pond or anything like that but I have a couple tasks I have to do outside so right now they have air stone and my waterfall is down I'm going to try to create some kind of filtration going on in here for the interim so I have a couple ideas there is a six inch sponge filter inside this and I'm going to replace the air stone with the sponge filter and then I'm going to see if I have another makeshift something in, in the shed. I might have something. I'm going to go check it out. So let's go see if I can get this pond being filtered. Then I have to get a new net because I want to try to scum up some of the stuff on the bottom. Even though I have net over it, some things got through. And then put the net back over it for um, before the helicopters. I say before the helicopters fall off, but they're not even formed yet. So I'll be good with that. So right now, since we're out and about, it's almost 60 degrees. It's a little weird because I know it's going to be 35 degrees, almost freezing again in a couple days. So I'm still iffy on feeding them. I don't think I should be feeding them because um, it's getting down to freezing. I'd hate to feed them and, not, and then them not being able to me metabolize their food. So but I definitely want to get them some kind of filtration. So let's go check it out. So I was able to clean out the filter that was in the pond, bio rings and a sponge filter. I was able to clean them all out. So I got those washed off. That was absolutely disgusting. I'm not lying. I'm kind of glad my battery on the phone died because it had to have been an eighth inch thick of green algae. I mean, the motor on the pump was still humming. It might have been moving some water. Even the rings were filled with algae on the uh, outside. So that tells me the outside wasn't getting a lot of flow. The insides were good though. But I got it, I got it set now for the next couple of weeks. I have to buy a net. I have to get a net for my pond because the one I have keeps breaking off and it's just too darn cold. I got a funny feeling in order to clean this pond. I got to get in there and... <sighs> what I did, I put another bio ring inside a, a sponge filter in and then I put a, a big sponge filter in. The fish aren't looking like they want to eat yet and I can understand why after reaching my hand in there to get some leaves it is ice cold. Ice cold. So I got some of the stuff ready and I think I just want some nice weekends and I'm gonna um I mean <laughs> I'm gonna start tearing down the waterfall. Gonna tear down the waterfall and I gotta raise my skimmer about this much, two, three inches. So I was thinking about putting two cinder blocks under it and raising it up, to make sure it's level and all that. That would be good. And instead of my summer tubs over here, so I have this raised bed that I use. This is where I did all my dirt from the pond. I'm gonna inset my summer tubs up there and have them cascade into each other, like through a waterfall. I'm gonna clean out this pond. This pond's gonna be for some, some of the turtles that aren't quite big enough to go in the big pond. And then of course, this is my tortoise enclosure. I'm gonna clean that out, see if I can plant some dandelions. Who says that? I gotta plant some dandelions. But since I am bringing the um, turtles out here, I'm gonna first put chicken wire all over this corner and this corner. So in case they do leave the pond, they don't leave my area. You see this, this wood fence? I'm gonna want some more of that to, 
to, for the surrounding parts of my yard. That's what I think I'm gonna do to keep the turtles in. I live between um, a canal and a river. Last thing I want is my turtles getting out. So even though I'm not opening the pond yet, it was nice to get in there and get a little dabble a little bit in it. And, uh, and if you can see the fish, let me see. You see how, I don't know if you can see, they're not coming to the surface at all. They're, they're barely swimming. They're still very, very low. That's because it's still very cold in that water and it's getting down to freezing again. Maybe I was a little dramatic being freezing. So I get my digital thermometer to see, you know, is the water like 35, maybe even 40, but it's cold, it's freezing. 50. <laughs> I think I'm just a wuss. But the fish aren't coming up for food, so that's gonna be my uh, sign. So thanks for coming along while I basically did some pond chores. Look at my camera's going down. I go down with it. <laughs> thanks for checking out my pond with me. I love saying that. It's almost pond season. See you next time.